can a Christian be demon-possessed? Well, we're not going to go into a whole lot of that today, but let me put it this way. <clears throat> First, you have to define Christian. Then you have to define possessed, right? And now, if you're saying a Christian meaning someone who walks like Christ, someone who is following God and is purposely and consistently walking righteously, no, they can't be possessed. Why? Because they're not doing the things demons like to do, okay? Now, if you're talking about a churchgoer, a church member, somebody who attends but lives like a normal person the rest of the time, yes, right? Now, just to tell you what that means is this. You are a spirit. You have a body, or I'm sorry, you have a soul, and you live in a body. Let's put it that way. You, you the real you, is a spirit. Nobody can see the real you. They can only see the body you live in. Now, generally, the you that lives in that body, looks like that body, at least in shape and function and that kind of thing. Now, you're a spirit living in a body. When we talk about someone being demon-possessed, automatically people say, Christians can't be demon-possessed because, you know, my, my spirit belongs to God. Okay, first off, you're assuming spirits live in your spirit. Spirits don't live in your spirit. They live in your flesh. They live in your body. They live in your soul. They do not live in your spirit. Now, if you are not born again, your spirit is the spirit of Satan, the spirit of death. It is still demonic, and you're unrighteous. It's that simple. Now, if you're born again, your spirit has been recreated, and it has been made in the likeness of Jesus Christ. Right? So demons do not inhabit your spirit. Now, there could be a point in your life that you walk away from God, now, I'm, I'm not talking about every little thing. I'm talking about, we're talking about a process, generally speaking, where you walk away from God, you renounce God, you renounce any activity of the Holy Spirit, you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you do all these things to the point where you are now serving Satan, and when you die, you will go to hell. 